Hello everyone, my name is Lucille and welcome back to Mass Effect. In this episode we have to check out Vermeer because Saturn is over there I think. So let's let's just do it in the oh sorry. In the last episode I already did the talking to my squad and we find we found Liara. So the only thing that we have left is this one. We explored all, all the planets that we had to go to. Caden and Geras, please, I think. Yeah. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Okay. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. Ooh, we'll go in hot cool. and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Ooh, I got scared. <laughs> Got a clean drop, Commander. Okay, good job. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the oh. camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. We have uh I I turned on my AC. I really hope you can't hear that because it's really hot here. Um, okay. Wow. <laughs> uh where do I have to go? Do I? Oh my god, where am I going? What the hell is this? Oh no! Overheated again. What are these guys? It doesn't even say. Oh, there we go. Are these drones? Oh, these are drones. Should I... I think I goofed it. I think I was supposed to buy better weapons. Oh god. Apple! Before I went here. Oh, I'm so... silly sometimes. Happening. What are these mushrooms things? Whoa. Rocket drone. Oh my god, get rid of that. Oh no, rocket drone again. Shut off. <gasps> this is the sea. <laughs> get it. Where am I going? Oh no, I'm jammed. <gasps> oh, I should have brought Tali. Oh god. Ah! I really have to be careful to not overheat. These drones are very annoying. <gasps> oh my god, there is one right in front of me. I overheated. Okay, hey! Oh no, how am I gonna go here? Ugh. Oh my god! <gasps> oh no! This guy is very tough. Now oh, I'm gonna overheat. Hey! Okay. Ouch. Oh. I'm really going after all of these guys. 
in hopes I'm gonna level up myself. <laughs> it's cool that this car can run in water. It's a very badass car. No, I overheated! Okay, let's just leave. Oh no, another one of these. Good job, me. Oh no, again! One more! Okay. Oh. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. There's our target, Commander. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm in the right place. Oh, hello. Hey! Open! What? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Okay, I think we have to exit. <laughs> uh, maybe we have to open the door somehow? Why is Kaden using his pistol? Wait, what? What is Kaden actually? Oh, hold on. Um, how do I check this squad? He is... Rover? I don't know, maybe use this for him? Oh, I didn't level up. Okay, he is assault rifle guy. There we go. I don't see. Oh, Jesus Christ, you scared me. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my God, he's here. You covered. <sighs> Who opened those doors? I don't see. Okay. Table. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Oh, whoops! What Ready did they do? Out, Commander. I don't know. Okay. Oh my God! How am I gonna do this? There is not enough time. Oh, barely. <laughs> did we get anything better? Nope. Well then. So, I think the doors should be open now. I don't know. Maybe. The doors are open. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oof. Oh! Ooh, Normandy, you scared me! Okay. Shy off, please. Hi! Move out! <laughs> I think if you press C, they're like... They have to like, come to your position or something like that. 
Oh, come on. Oh god, you scared me. Where's my team? Okay, hello. No, you don't. Okay, one more. Oh, here. Oh god. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. Okay. Take off. Go, 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 go! Solarian camp. So... They're... Working with Saren? I mean, not all of them, but like... So he has everything. He has Ged, he has Solarians. He has his huge ship. Mm. Oh no! Crap! Okay. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Oh, so they are not working with him, huh? Or are they captured? Oh god, I don't know. There go the Solarians. Hello. I think I got this wrong. So what are we supposed to do now? They aren't working with Saren. Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Okay. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. Okay. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? <laughs> I told the council to send a fleet. Okay, come on. We are good. <laughs> we couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Oh. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What? What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. What a dumb question. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising yeah, I know. to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough. But a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed? Oh no. I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Okay. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. Oh, we no. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. I don't know. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always. What does ready. that mean? Oh God! What the fuck? I mean, I understand him. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize. Me. I understand him, but ugh, I don't know. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. 
Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. Oh, no. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the crow? I can see this it. This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can you can get him? No way. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? Charismatic. Is he gonna... We were tools for the council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. Mm -hmm. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Thank you. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Thank God. <laughs> if we're doing this, then let's go. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I was so scared she was gonna kill him. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. Oh, shut up. Krogans are nice. Why are they all like hating on Krogans? What the fuck? F off. Rex is nice. Okay. Hello. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. <laughs> it won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Okay. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. Oh. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Mm-hmm. Of Hopefully. sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Mm. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not. But I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. Mm -hmm. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. Oh. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand, but this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. No way. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> Who do I can't decide this. Mission. Either of these two will do, Commander. <sighs> Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. No! Take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Mm. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. 
Okay. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Be real, don't worry, please. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh, I can't take Ashley. Oh, God. Oof. Ah. Uh, maybe these two? Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay. I'm gonna need to equip everything that's better. Let's shadow go. is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, A14. Manovai, Dea Dotins, move! Time to get some attention. Manovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to move in. Because I don't want my team to die. And I almost died. Okay. Uh, he needs this. Okay, I'm going in. Is this the turret? Oh. Nice! Communications! Okay, we got some new weapons. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah.
Oh no. Oof, ouch. They're calling sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Ashley's not responding. Oh my god. Oh, this sniper is so bad. And I just bought it. It was very expensive in my ship. It wasn't worth it. Crap. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh no. Ouch. Wait, what? I don't see anything here. Oh. What? There is an exclamation point here, but there isn't anything here. Oh, I had to shoot it. Okay. I'm assuming it's still an exclamation point. What the fuck? What's happening? Okay, I don't know. I'm leaving. Who knows? Aircraft heading to Oh, I can see. Bunker up before they come back. Okay, Ashley started responding. That's good. Where do I go first? I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Barely. Oh, this one too. Move, guys. <gasps> no, he hurt himself. I mean, I hurt him by accident. I am all over the place. I think this is where I go now. Threat has not materialized. We may be getting some help from Shadow.
frågan är så hard to defeat. I should have brought Rex. These are some doors. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Oh, poor guy. We don't need to hurry up and help them. Oh my god. What's over here? We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Mm. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hell is that? I think some someone in my team has cryo round around so they freeze them. Is it the Seren's ship? Oh no. Guys, this is so stressful. Whoa. Hello? Is someone out there? I think I have to go down to talk to them. Oh no. Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Does this lead down? Oh my god. What the heck are you doing here? Get the fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, sorry, Tommy. Heal to low. <gasps> Decryption? What? Still too low, fuck. I want to explore the other thing as well. I think I could save that guy. But I don't know how to get to him. Oh 
Oh, this is how I get to him. Well, you're not a gaff, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Please Don't be look cool. back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Okay. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Why did Saren do this? To steal a man's mind like that is disgusting. Oof. I don't know. Leave them. Let's get moving. It's safest, but I would prefer they be put out of their misery. I I can't do that. I'm I don't know. I don't have the heart to do it. And the F does this lead to. There is so many doors here. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. Oh, I don't know. Set him free. He could help us. <sighs> yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? Oh, no. So damn simple! Ugh, I shouldn't have done that. He can't open the doors. Not now, Commander. Well, oh, God. Now I have to go back to the elevator, I think. Skill too low. Crap.
Wait. Uh, no. I... Where do I go? Mm, no. I think actually this is actually... I have no idea. I think here. Maybe. Oh god. What? I saw the option to talk to Don't shoot. Oh, this. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Okay. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! <laughs> you enjoyed that. No, I actually didn't. What's here? Ooh. Um. Oh yeah, that's where I have to go. Okay. <laughs> Open. Look at us. Dream team. This is a lot of doors. Ooh. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Again. Maybe now she's gonna be able to understand it. Or not. Place is an abomination. Saren's research must be destroyed. You really don't understand what. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. Oh, that's his ship. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. Yep. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Oh. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. Hmm. We are eternal. The pinnacle okay. of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Okay, stop Whatever the preaching. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. 
The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. Yeah. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. What? We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. Oh, crap. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. Oh, God. Oh god, this is a long way out. <laughs> but also I'm not sure if I'm even going the right direction. Oh god, why did she pull this out? It scared me. The Gath are turning from your position, Jay Atto. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. Oh god. Go, go, go. Where am I going? I'm assuming there. It's annoying that they start healing. It's very annoying. Bombs do nothing to him. Okay, go, go, go. Ashley need their help. The only problem is I don't know where I'm going. Oh god, whoops! <laughs> I did this by accident. Oh no. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming I have to go here. Oh crap. I hate these dudes.
just go. Oh my god, I didn't even see these guys. Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Okay. Okay. I think we helped them. I'm getting a lot of. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Oh my god. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Can I save? Oh my god, I can't save. All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Hmm. What is happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <gasps> <laughs> I got scared, it's so uh, sorry. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Um, what does guard that bomb mean? You keep that nuke safe. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So, what the F do we do now? Do we go here? Oh, yeah, open the door. All right. Oh jeez. Rex is already down. Why is she blocked? Can't tell Tali what to use. Oh, this weapon is so annoying. Okay. Mm. Okay, what do I do here? Damn. 
Geth are sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bombsite. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. What the fuck? Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. <sighs> Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Oh my god. I mean, I can go get him and then go Stay get alive. her. I'll be coming to get you too, Ash. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, what the fuck does that mean? Can you see the bomb site from here? Nope. Do I just go back? Come on, elevator. I'm in a hurry. I think... We are actually gonna be able to go back to get her because it would be really weird if you couldn't. Because it said that she is under heavy fire, her team. What the what? What's happening here? Oh, that's happening. I think I don't really understand why he set the bomb off. Oh my god. Oh no. I don't understand why he said it. I mean, there is a lot of people here. And I would probably do the same, but. Oh my god. Who is this bitch? What? Whoa. Who did he just. Did he kill one of my members? I leveled up. What are we shooting at? Who is this person? No, I lost someone. What the fuck are we shooting at? Oh, this guy. Oh my god. Didn't see this guy. Commander, set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Damn it. Well, wait, I Pressing have to do it. Cover your flank. Cover your. Where was he this whole time? He just appeared. Also, that's seven. Oh god. That doesn't really hurt him. I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped... I think Sovereign is also... protect me. Taking his mind. 
You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. Yep. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. Ugh. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Wow. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Sovereign's manipulating yep. you and you don't even know it! You're already under its power! No, Sovereign needs me! If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. <laughs> this is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign! We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Ugh. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. Nope. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Oh, crap. Stop healing. Tali's dead. Fuck. Oh god. Um Oh Brex, I can't see anything. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Oh my god.
can't do anything to his fucking shield. I noticed. Only with my sniper I can like... Oh, it's going down now. <gasps> Please go down. Oh, I'm dead. Am I? Oh god. Am I dead? Oh, he's hurt. Oh my god, I can carry him! Alright everybody, hang on! Wait, does that mean that Ashley actually... You can't save her? I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Oh, I don't know. There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. But why me? Why not her? I'm sorry, Caden. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know. And I am grateful. But Ash died because of me. Because of us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Mm -hmm. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Oh my god, again? What, what would happen if I said, forget it? <laughs> I'm really curious. Nobody is messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. So yeah, you have to do it. Okay. It's worth a shot. Ah. Oh. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Again. You Oh, disgusting. So, with my understanding, that's actually just like a cycle that keeps happening. So, I'm not really sure if anyone ever Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. Oh. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. Mm -hmm. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Yeah, that's Without true. the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Okay. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Ooh. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Uh, okay. It didn't tire me out. Yeah, that's Are weird. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. 
Your role in our communion is passive. Oh. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. I'm sorry. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. Okay, okay. We're done go. here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Hmm. Okay. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. This council is so dumb. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Goodbye. Ah, uh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. <laughs> Understood, Commander. Ugh. What's the point of even talking to them? Ever. Well, this was kind of pointless. I think next time he asks me to talk to the council, I'm just gonna say nope. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go talk to the these two guys first. Or actually three. Tali is down there too. And Ashley is not anymore, which is kind of sad to be honest. <gasps> oh! It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. That means her. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Oh, okay. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Uh, okay. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. Mm -hmm. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. Oh, wait. Liara? Liara's locker? Oh, that's how... Oh, you can... <gasps> this is cool. Hi. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. <laughs> I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit... disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. Well. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Oh my god. So what was it? Both, actually. Oh. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. <laughs> After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. 
No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These oh my god. weren't just Dr. Salion's employees, they were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Ew. He was growing parts it's inside crazy. these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. Mm. We never caught him. No! Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. Oh. They were worried about the hostages, worried about oh, yeah. civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. Yeah. But they wouldn't listen. Oh. Well, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. Mm hmm But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Yeah. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that, but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna help you. Okay, let's talk to Tali. Hello. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, <laughs> if, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. <laughs> I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Yeah. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. <laughs> Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Mm, that pressure, it must be yeah. Tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. Mm. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Mm -hmm. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? 
Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. Yeah. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. <laughs> she passed on about five oh. years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it. Not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Okay, let me see if this is gonna be anything new. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return yeah, this I is presented saw this. as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to oh, join. Oh, wait. I didn't if see this. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. Oh. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. 
What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. Wow. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. <clears throat> Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. They seem really so the resourceful. Elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Um, I think I saw I all go. of this. See you the rest later. of the things. I think I, I talked to her about the gets and stuff like that. We haven't had time together since our last chat, and a lot was said when we talked. <laughs> you seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? Sorry, not sure where I stand. You seem a bit, uh, distracted by someone. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak... Wait, we saw this already. Time. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck room... Yeah, he said this already. ...interested in you. As more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady. To my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. Yeah, we. You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I, I don't want to take up your personal time. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? No issue, Shepard. At least, not when you're around. <laughs> I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. <laughs> Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Oh, God. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. Oh. I killed him, Shepard. 
snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough, but they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. Was Rana all right? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking after that. I don't understand. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from him. And everyone who... Everyone who loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me too. Anyway, this is, um... I had a point here. Aliens are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. So, yeah. I hated that Turian. But... It, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. Yeah, so he doesn't really care if someone is an alien. Here I was concerned you were damaged goods. I've got a few scratches and dents. Hope they just give me character. I don't think we'll be operating without support for much longer. Pretty soon not even the council will be able to ignore what's going on. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm uh <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? Mm hmm. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Okay. Just trying to get a sense of where Is this anything you're gonna be? Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. Mm, yeah. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? <laughs> anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay, well, that's... So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I really hope... I really hope I made the right decision. I mean, I liked Caden more than Ashley and... Ashley was mean to Tali, and Tali is my best friend forever, and I love her. So, but still, I don't know, it's kind of sad that we lost her. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!